Today, we are talking about a creature that breaks one of the most fundamental rules of biology. You've probably seen the anglerfish or the vampire squid. We look at them and think, okay, terrifying, but their anatomy makes sense. They fit the horror movie mold of the deep. But the gulper reel is completely different. It's the fish scientists call the umbrella mouth with a lower jaw that literally unhinges from its tiny skull and balloons open to become wider than the rest of its entire body. It looks like a cartoon that physics forgot to stop. This creature exists in the midnight zone, a world of perpetual darkness, crushing pressure and vanishingly rare meals. And it is here, between 1,000 and 3,000 meters down, that this eel developed its impossible anatomy. I've analyzed the extreme pressures and the evolutionary demands that created this thing, and I can tell you this. The real secret behind this monster's mouth is not what you think. It defies logic in three specific ways. So in this video, I'm breaking down the three impossible adaptations of the gulper eel, including the shocking truth of what it actually eats. Ready? The mouth is the net, the tail is the bait, and the whole body is just the line. This is a fish that is actively fishing in the void, but the reason it has to be this clever is directly linked to our next point, the massive contradiction hidden inside that huge mouth. This is the main paradox. The one that shatters the evolutionary framework. The title promised an impossible mouth, designed to swallow prey much larger than itself. And it has that mouth. Its jaws can literally balloon to one quarter of its body length. Yet, when scientists analyzed the stomach contents of captured gulper eels, they were filled almost entirely with small crustaceans. Shrimp! This contradicts everything we assume about deep-sea mega-predators. Why evolve a jaw that can expand this violently if you're only going to eat krill? The application here is a total reframing of its purpose. The mouth is not a hunting tool. It's a life-saving disaster kit. Food is so scarce in the midnight zone that the gulper eel must be capable of eating a whale-sized meal if it ever finds one. This massive gulping capacity is its emergency safety net against starvation, designed for the worst-case scenario. It will sit for weeks, maybe months, drifting slowly, eating tiny shrimp. But if a massive squid or another unfortunate fish wanders close, the eel is ready to consume the entire bounty in one shot. This is deep sea psychology in action. But the existence of this bizarre disaster mouth is only possible because of its third and final adaptation. The fish that forgot how to be a fish. To achieve this massive, impossible mouth, the gulper eel had to sacrifice everything else. It is one of the weakest swimmers in the entire ocean. It has a hugely reduced skeleton, minimal muscles, and it completely lacks a swim bladder, the organ most fish use to control their buoyancy. The trade-off is brilliant. Its body is mostly made of lightweight, gelatinous mass. This allows it to conserve all its energy by achieving neutral buoyancy without effort. It doesn't swim, it drifts. When it needs to eat, it doesn't chase. It uses that enormous gelatinous mouth not to actively pursue prey, but to create a powerful lunge-feeding suction that balloons out in an instant, trapping everything nearby. The ultimate framing here is that the gulper eel is a perfect, terrifying example of specialization. It traded speed, strength, and normal anatomy for one thing. The capacity to eat anything that ever came close. It is a one-trick nightmare. But in the deepest parts of the ocean, one trick is all you need to survive. 
And that is the incredible paradox of the Gulpa eel. We came in with the expectation that its mouth was a superweapon for hunting massive prey. But the reality, the far more interesting truth, is that it's a massive emergency plan B, supported by a weak, stealthy, bioluminescent body. You now know the three impossible adaptations. The tail that fishes, the mouth that mostly eats shrimp, and the skeleton that traded bone for buoyancy. You just saw firsthand how great videos always exceed expectations. We thought we knew the story, but the truth was stranger, deeper, and more compelling. If you are still watching, thank you. Leave a comment below with which deep-sea creature I should break down next. Until then, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.